everyone, Lisa here from Four City Stitching. I hope that everyone has had a good couple of days. There's a cat right up here. You're gonna maybe see a tail. Um, yeah, I'm coming here with a floss tube extra as I have jumped on the Timu bandwagon and have tried out, sorry, I shouldn't say, I haven't tried these products that I got, but um, I will show you these products that I got, um, which I am fairly happy with. So, um, yeah, so Timu is now in Canada. If you haven't heard of them before, um, it's like a very discounted Amazon. Um, so it might be something that you might want to check out. I was very skeptical, I will say. Um, and my first order was very small because of that. I just wanted to make sure everything was uh, legit. Um, and from what I've seen, it is. There's Arlo. And uh, yeah, I think it is going to be definitely a good option for for different products so not gonna go crazy but uh yeah i think uh it'll come in handy for sure all right so i'm just gonna give you a price estimation just because i don't have the uh receipt printed out in front of me so first and really what i really wanted to get were some of these 2023 charms um, so I've been looking for some of these charms in that I could get in Canada that were not going to cost an arm and a leg to ship. Um, so I got 10 for 98 cents. Um, this order was free shipping um, as long as you spent $15. So my total order was just over like $17. So yeah, so that was... 98 cents. Um, this here is the little like sheath for your scissors. I want to say it was four or five dollars, so fairly pricey for the size of it. Um, yeah, but uh. Still, I think good value. What does concern me though is that this color is called meat pink. <laughs> meat pink. There you go. Um, so I want to use that for. I have a pair of nicer embroidered scissors. Arlo, you got your hair all over this already. Um, this is the one thing I wasn't. It'll be. It's fine. Um, but I was hoping this was going to be a little bit smaller. So, what this is, it's a cooling towel. So you wet it and then you can put it around your neck to cool you down. So I was thinking Disney. Um, and then, so it's a nice size. And then this is like a little pouch that you can put it in right and it has holes so it'll air dry etc so again all in all it's fine right but in my head i thought it was going to be this little tiny thing that wouldn't be too cumbersome at disney world but that's okay it's not a fail it can come in useful. And then what I was also very excited to be able to get because I haven't been able to find them on Amazon Canada are these bags that a lot of people use for project bags. Oops, sorry, that was much louder than I expected it to be. So I got five, so like one of the different colors. And it was 
for like 60 or something like that. So under, under a dollar each. So that's all right. Oh, and this was like 560, something like that. So yeah, again, so these two items are kind of the most expensive items. Now, this item was what I was unsure what I was going to end up getting. My husband had zero hope that this was going to be anything bigger than the size of something barbecues. This bag was on sale for $2.33. Yeah. So my husband didn't believe me that I got a bag for $2.33. It is now, the sale is over. I think it was like an opening, welcome to Canada opening deal situation. Um, yeah, now it's $33, but yeah, I paid $2.33. Um, it's nice, thick quality, lots of room, like especially for your laptop or something, Arlo. Um, that came up like. So, oh, that came up. I see, that comes out. Um, so this plugs in, you can plug in. So it was good until this came out. So there's a zipper inside. We can we can fix this. So you can plug in here. Obviously not while on camera. Um, but yeah, this cord will go in through here, and you can plug in like a battery pack. And then so you can use it to charge while you're on the go. On the go. Yeah, lots of pockets. Um, yeah. Really, I can't complain for two dollars and thirty-three cents. But again, I'm sorry because it's no longer that price. But is it worth thirty-three dollars? I don't think so. But I also didn't need a bag. So. Alright. So that's my first Timu haul. So I hope you enjoyed that little video. And um, yeah. Go check it out if you haven't already. It is a legitimate website. Now. Obviously. Some people have concerns about um, can, you know where how some of the products are made because it is so cheap, um, etc. But do you know exactly where all the items are being made on Amazon? I don't know. Again, I'm not switching all my shopping um, to Timu by any means, but you know, for different items, like these bags that I can't get anywhere else. Um, I couldn't find these anywhere else in Canada that wasn't going to cost me $20 to ship. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go crazy and, uh, you know, buy everything from there. But if something is a good deal, and uh, I think it's worth it, then, then I think it is definitely something um, to consider. All right, everyone have a good night.